Bobby. Well, this is my full freeze plugs out. And that's every Ford, even no matter how long it's been in the machine shop, how long they steel braid it, blah, blah, blah. After a while, they all get the sediment in the cooling system. That's why we do the Gano filter, especially on the Fords. Is it just because it's this particular style block? No, it's all the Fords of this era. Big block, small block, inline six. Right. You name it, but look at that. Oh my God. Yummy. So what, what causes it? It's just the way they're cast. <clears throat> and they just get nasty and flaky and yucky. But there we go. So is it? So we just try to get as much of it out as we can. Okay. So that's the... That little filter on Bill's? I, the the, the, the cream-colored Mustang? Yes. Let's go show everybody. This mm. way there's... Let's some go. Because sort of, I've never seen that until I started here and went, wait a minute, that's... Yeah. I've never seen that. I do that on damn near every Ford. Road chip. Car known to man today. I'm surprised I know who I am. You're in and out of every man today. Down below. Yeah, them Down too. below. How many men were you in today? Yeah. Anyway, see, there's the gain of filter right there, and it has a screen that's kind of bowl shaped, mm -hmm. so it flows out through the thermostat, and all this schmutz will get caught up in there in the filter. Okay. And it keeps it from gumming up the radiator. Now, is it a one you can clean out or, is it or just replace it? Yeah, I mean, all you do is you undo the, Basically, you undo this clamp and this clamp, pull the whole thing out. You can clean it out, put it back in, refill it with coolant. Cool. And you can see when they get plugged up. This one's pretty clean because I flushed it like multiple times years ago. Right. So this block itself is pretty clean inside and it's been steel abraded when it, before he got it rebuilt. And if you really go to the machine shop and they run it through the steel braid tumbler for like two days and it actually gets in there in there mm -hmm. it cleans most of the shit out and then if you run proper coolant mix it never happens again so for those out there that may not be sure what is a proper coolant mix what is a proper coolant mix for an old vehicle all of them 50 50 and you know they sell 50 50 premix just buy it and the universal the gold it goes in everything, and it really does go in everything. The deck school cars, I drain that crap out as fast as I can and put the premix in. You can mix it with deck school. Now, what great. about full strength and using distilled water for people you, out there that if do you want to, if you want to play chemist, go ahead and play chemist, but you'll never nail it 50-50 like whoever makes it in bulk from the store, right? And frankly. If it's off, it's not your liability, it's the store's problem then. Then you can sue your vendor. Okay. That's why we do it. If it's like, oh, well, that froze because it wasn't 50-50. It's like, well, it came out of this bottle that says it is. So, hey, yeah, you sold us some bullshit. So, so this is why when you we recommend what we recommend to people. This is why we recommend what we recommend. Yeah, there's reasons behind it. It's not like we're trying to take our customers for money. Not that there's an issue that we, we don't, we, in general, we've never had that issue. No, but, but we're we not take... trying to sell you something you don't need. Yep. And I mean, what's your time worth? You're going to sit there and go, I dumped half a gallon in. Okay, now let me dump in half a gallon of distilled water. And then you dump the other half into the jug. And then you go to put that in and it's not mixed right. And you, oh, I only needed a quarter, of a, a gallon and a quarter. Then what? Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. You buy the pre-mix, you do it, it's done, it's easier. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's why we do what we do, and that's why. And no tap water, because Jordan's <coughs> past videos, you can see what happens when people put tap water. Jordan didn't do it, but whoever had it before him years ago yeah. did, and it just kept wearing and wearing and wearing on it. Is that the one that had all the holes in the motor? Yep, that's yep. the engine that we're working on now. That, that's why we're showing the, the cooling the system. engine. Yep. That came gotcha. out of Literally, video. and if you watch the video previous for Jordan's car, I was looking at it going, Bobby. Um, Wait till um, I when, when I found it at his house when I pulled the head because I thought I had a blown head gasket. Yeah. And I was like, oh, we're in more trouble than we thought. Yeah. 
But yeah, that way you don't get the schmutz. See, look at the schmutz. Yeah. Schmutz. 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 All right. All right. May the schmutz.